2007, Dwayne Stevenson released his breakthrough hit, August Town. It was a tribute to his community. Now we're going to find out the backstory behind the song in our Fiwi Culture segment, sponsored by Ray White Rum. Fiwi Culture is powered by Ray White Overproof Rum. Fiwi Culture. Blessed love, this is Dwayne Stevenson from August Town. Least known for the story of August Town from August Town. I'm still mindful of what he taught me. So what was the inspiration behind that song? How did it come about? Well, the inspiration for Augustone was Augustone. <laughs> um, I, I grew up there, you know, still live there. You know, and um, it was just a reflection of what was going on, you know, in the mind and in the reality of what I was living at the time. You know what I mean? So, when things affect you in that manner, you know, you can't help but to get it out in the art, you know. Maybe if I was doing a painting, it wouldn't have been much different, you know what I mean? But luckily, it's a song, so I had three minutes instead of one, one shot. But definitely, it was what was happening. Anybody that grew up in August and knew anything about it knows a lot of what I was singing about, you know. And, and even if you're not from there, you know, I think the words of the song pretty much resonate to anywhere you live in Jamaica in terms of the inner city communities. I've got the scars to show I daily made it along life's road Where was the song recorded? Yeah. Um, who was the producer? What was the vibe like inside the studio while working on the track? Um, well, this, this, this song was produced by um, Dean Fraser. At the time, a lot of the works that we were doing was at um, Anchor Recording Studio, you know, I was working simultaneously with um, an album with Taurus Rider called Parables and we were also doing co-writing and helping with the ideas for um, an album for Luciana called Navigator. Now, the album was done prior to August Town. I had, had 14 tracks and I was pretty much ready to go and then we, we went to um, Tough Gang for a record. Dean was recording something to send off to New Zealand. And I went in there and heard the truck. And I said, no man. So we, we, we pretty much hijacked the truck between myself and Taros, hijacked the truck. I said, is that leaving going anywhere? Why? Um, and then, you know, once the, the process of writing started, it, it just seemed to be the perfect fit synergy because I had so many things I wanted to say about what was truly affecting you know, myself and the community. And it seemed to just work well with, with that particular track. I didn't even realize that it was actually a rendition of um Jalib track up until the song was, was done. And then the football ground became a battlefield and my life seemed so surreal. Did you think the song would have been a hit song? Were you surprised it took off? Um, listen, those days, you're surprised if this song even play on the radio. So I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, the first place that song hit was on one of the major um, gospel stations in South Florida. It was the, the biggest black-owned station, um, gospel station in America at the time. And the reason why I knew this, because the first show that I did, um, not a full-scale show, I think I did about four or five songs, was in a church that was put on by this gospel station. And I was with Shirley C's and Lieutenant Stitch and Glacia Robinson and them. This was in a church. And that was the first performance of that song publicly. So the song hit from there and then it filtered into all the, the diaspora eras, you know. So at one point when no one knew anything about me, I had the number one song in, in, in half the Caribbean islands, you know, St. Lucia, St. Vincent. I think it got to number three in, in Trinidad, you know, because Trinidad is me and I like a dance hall slash soca vibe them into, but it still got to number three, beating out a lot of the other songs. So when I was getting marginal play in Jamaica, it was a major hit in all these eras, which is very interesting to me, you know what I mean? Though I never lived like you wanted, I was mindful of what you taught me. Um, how did the success of August Town um, change your life? What kind of doors did it open for you locally and outside of Jamaica? Well, um, it immensely changed, you know, everything for me, you know. You know, it was an opportunity, firstly, 
to kind of, you know, put my family on a different trajectory, you understand? So that was the most important thing to me, you know, it was an opportunity to change how things were forever. And that was the main thing, you know. And beyond that, of course, you know, the music took me to all these, these new places and introduced me to all these different cultures. So my whole process of thinking changed because of all of this new knowledge that, you know, I gained. And of course, as a career, I was now, you know, I had a foothold in a lot of these, the, the major markets for reggae music, you know, whether it be Africa, the United States, you know, um, vastly in the Caribbean, to even South America, you know. So it changed, it was a whole new world for me. I would never, will never get tired of performing that song because of what the song meant to me. a fun fact for you guys. Did you know that the Magnum King and Queens of Dancehall competition started in 2008? And the winners of that season was Baby Tash and singer Ja. Speaking of Magnum, it's time to find out what are the hottest songs in the country with our Magnum Top 10 chart. Take charge! Stuck in the bread, feed the family them, if I know for You see me and I know I'm a leg at a heavy passport You know, you know I got the world for them keep up Me I got hard and my song, them a creep up Catch me in my brand new 23 I'm a rip jeans chip And every black man a king Every black man a king Go to car, we have a hundred chop Mali get pop, boy, please Bad shirt, bad jeans, match with a polo, what? Bad, go check his stats, see Ta, another ending love story how we close this week's episode of Predis, your favorite pop culture entertainment show. I have been your guest host, the Milky One. Stay safe, guys. Predis. Predis was brought to you in partnership with Magnum Tonic Wine, Tech Charge, Ray White Overproof Rum, Fiwi Culture, CB Chicken, the Better Tasting Chicken, Bad Dog Sausages, Bigger, Better, Badder, and by Kingston 62 Rum.